hello guys uh, welcome to tech design so in the uh, last tutorial we have discussed on drafting so in this tutorial we will take an example of uh, sheet metal workbench so as you can see here we are going to do this uh, you know sheet metal um, you know practice example and so we have uh, multiple dimensions it looks like uh, these are all in mm as you can see sheet thickness is 1 mm and bend radius is 2 mm so let's start doing this uh, you know um, example so if you have any concerns or any uh, doubts you can just comment below so I will try to answer it so always please mention a timeline where you are referring to so otherwise uh, it will make uh, very difficult for me to understand your question okay let's start today's uh, tutorial that is on um, sheet metal workbench so let us go to new file so once you go to new file you will have an uh, you know uh, new file creation wizard so you can just click uh, sheet metal and click ok so this will directly take you into a sheet metal workbench so you can see all the sheet metal uh, commands over here and now uh, in our model uh, as you can see here so now in our model as you can see here we have they have given a sheet thickness and bend radius of uh, 1 mm and 2 mm so we just need to mention this in the uh, properties so that all the bends and all the you know sheet metal uh, you know properties uh, commands features everything will come uh, according to that uh, uh, properties so we'll go to file preferences and, and sheet metal so once you go here as you can see here this is a thickness so let me give it as 1 1 mm and uh, bend radius as uh, 3 mm uh, sorry 2 mm so other uh, other all the you know factors you can just keep it as it is and you can just click ok so once you click ok all the those uh, whatever you have given as an uh, sheet metal properties will be saved and now we are good to go with a uh, modeling so as you can see here uh, we have uh, uh, 95 mm of uh, this length and as well as uh, uh, 44 minus 18 minus 7 by 7 7 minus 7 so this is the width of this uh, rectangle so first we will create a, a base rectangle on that we can just create a multiple flanges over here so let's go ahead and do the you know uh, sketches so I'll just go to sketch and uh, I'll just select a y x plane and I'll just click OK this will take you to you know sketcher environment so now I'll just go to rectangle and uh, this should be centered so I'll just select a centered one and let me create this simple rectangle so once the rectangle crea is created we'll just give the dimensions for this so D is the shortcut for dimensioning press D and so this will be you know 90 sorry 95 and press D so this is 44 minus 18 sorry so this is uh, 18 plus 7 plus 7 so now as you can see here so this is 18 and uh, the radius of uh, you know edge here this is 7 and this is 7 so it is 18 plus 17 7 plus 7 so it is 32 and you can just close it so now we have a base you know uh, flank so we'll just click finish for this and we can just go to tab So as you can see here the thickness whatever we have given in the sheet metal properties by default this thickness will be taken. So let me give, select this uh, base. So as soon as you select it uh, the you know tab is created let us click OK. So this is a simple tab we have and then we have as you can see here there are two flanges so in the both the, way, both the sides. So we will just create these flanges now. So this length is 41 which is from the base of this and until this uh, edge. So let us create that 41 mm of uh, flange. So we will just go to flange here and let me select this edge. So I will just create uh, both the edges uh, at a time. Okay. So now we can see here bend radius is 2 mm which we have given in the at the start. So 41 mm is the length and it should be full width. So it will it should be full width. 
and as you can see here here it comes uh, into a picture where you make a mistake so let me discuss you uh, let me make it clear for you so now uh, whatever the length it is taken it is taken from this base so as you can see here this from this base it is 41 mm so let us check our drawing as you can see this is also from the base to this edge so it means that we have taken a proper uh, dimension but whatever the flange is there which is inside so we just this should be material inside and uh, this should be outside so this is now correct and we can just click ok and now we need to go for again flange option so we can see here there is a one more flange which is of 22 mm so it should be outside of you know uh, the flange because we have given 41 mm until this point uh, from this base so which should be the material should be outside now so we'll just provide these two edges okay and now as you can see here <coughs> So this is our uh, end and it should come outside so it should be material outside so this means it comes outside and we also have the you know uh, the length so let us see how the length is measured so this is measured inside uh, you know outside so let us give that outside it is already given as an outside so if you are not understanding what is outside and material all of these things if it is we have already discussed these things in our uh, you know flange tutorial so please go to those uh, you know tutorials and check it out how that works uh, then only you can able to understand how we are creating the model okay so we are done with a simple um, you know uh, features so we are going to do with uh, these features now as you can see here from this edge it is 19 mm and then there is a 27 mm uh, flange so let us create a simple uh, sketch so I'll just go to sketch on this plane and I'll just click OK. So now uh, simply go to uh, you know um, a rectangle and start creating a rectangle. Simple rectangle is needed. And now as you can see here, so this flange is going inside a little bit. There is a cutout. So this dimension is not given anywhere. So what I'll do is I'll just make this same as whatever we have here. So and also I will just create this rectangle as well. So we will go to the again one more rectangle here. Okay. So both the rectangle I am just creating in a single sketch and let me go into dimensioning now. So dimensions are 19. So I will just rotate it and this will help me to provide the dimensions from this edge. So from this edge to this edge it is 19 okay and from the same edge to this it is 27 and also as you can see here from this edge it is 44 mm so let us give that from this edge to this edge it is 44 mm so this whatever the you know dimension for this rectangle is completed so now we have to give dimension for this so this i uh, will just see here as you can see from this edge it is 29 mm and here uh, okay this is for center mm, okay so as you can see here this is 27 and uh, okay so this is 20 mm as you can see here 20 minus 9 which is uh, 20 mm so let us give from this to it is 20 and width will be 27 so we'll go to dimensions again and from here to here it is uh, 20 mm and this edge is 27 mm okay and uh, these two flanges are at the same uh, edge so let us give concentricity sorry geometric constraints so this should point on a line so this point should lie on this okay so now as you can see your sketch is fully constrained so i'll just finish the sketch and now we'll just need to go to tab and select these two sketches so as soon as you select a sketch as you can see here now we have this uh, flanges 
so either you can just create an entire flange and then you can just do a cutout for this or else you can just create this much and then we can just add the tabs for this using a sketch okay so now uh, you can see here there is a flange uh, which is of uh, 19 mm uh, in the downward direction so let us create that uh, 19 mm which is a material inside so let's go to material inside with a 19 mm and it is outer outside from the outside so flange which is 19 mm and it is outside and this should be material inside okay so once you have given proper input you just need to click ok no need to check it again and again so this is done okay so now we have uh, complications over here as you can see here uh, this is a profile and which we need to create so previously in the all other uh, versions of uh, nx we have uh, sketch editing uh, feature inside the flange but uh, in this time what happens is in the latest version it has been removed uh, due to some reasons so we need to create a complete flange and then we have to remove uh, the material whatever we want to remove or uh, the uh, addition whatever you want to add it so what i will do is i'll just create this uh, flange now uh, whatever the 27 mm width and we have uh, depth of uh, 41 mm so let us uh, give that 41 mm plus 1 mm of thickness so that is 42 mm so let me give that um, you know flange so go to flange and this depth it is 42 mm okay it should be from outside and material inside click ok so now what we have to do is we have to remove this extra material so that is there in here so in order to remove remove that we have to go to sketcher environment and create a simple sketch so this is the material that we want to remove and as you can see here this is 19 mm and this 10 mm this is 10 mm and uh, okay so this edge is not given so let us assume it as a 19 mm uh, as you can see this is these two are same so what i will do is i'll just assume it as a 19 mm so go to dimensions and from the top it is 19 mm okay and then uh, from this edge also it is 19 mm so let us go to dimensions and do this as 19 mm okay finish it and now we need to go for normal cutout and just give this dimension uh, whatever the sketch and click ok so now i uh, will just hide this and we are at this position now now as you can see here there is an uh, you know uh, extra portion which is of 13 mm from this uh, edge so let us give that 13 mm environment again on this plane you can just create both the sketches in the same uh, sketch itself and later we can just uh, use it as you want so i'll we'll just give this and now this dimension is 10 mm sorry guys my nx has become a little bit slow okay go to dimensions and this dimension is 10 mm okay and uh, this dimension is 13 mm okay so now we have when uh, you know um, fillet here so which is of, of 6 dimension 6 mm and 45 degree angle so let us go to finish this and then we will create a tab and I am just going to select this sketch and I will click ok so now we need to provide an uh, break corner here so which is a chamfer of uh, 6 mm so let us give a chamfer here and click apply 
okay so now this edge is completed and now we what we have is we have also a flange for this edge as well so now as you can see here this is a uh, this is the edge which is uh, shown in uh, dotted lines so which is of uh, 30 mm which is uh, and from outside and uh, material inside so flange is outside and material is inside so let us skew that and what is the dimension it is 30 mm so go to flange So which is an outside and material inside so we should give 30 mm and you can just click OK okay so now we are almost done and we have some multiple holes here as you can see uh, the bottom hole is smaller and the top uh, hole is uh, you know larger one so we'll just create that holes now what I will do is I'll just go to sketcher again and on this plane and we need to you know uh, make two holes so one with a dimension of uh, 13 diameter another one is the for diameter 8 So you can see uh, 13 mm and 8 mm and and this is from this edge it is 22 and from this edge it is 29 so let us give that dimension as well go to dimensions and from this center just rotate it until this it is 29 okay and now uh, from this edge it is 22 okay now our sketch is fully constrained so let's finish this sketch and now what I have to do is I have to do normal cut so normal cut should be on this sketch and yes it is clear click apply and now we have this smaller sketch can see the value so this value you can just provide it here until this and you can just click ok so now what I will do is I will just kind of hit control W and I will search hide everything and I will just show only solid so now as you can see here this is completely uh, the way how we have in our model in our drafting in our drawing so everything is in uh, you know some of the I think some of uh, dimensions we have assumed so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you